welcome back to the Mompreneur Club. I'm Tamara, and my goal is to inspire moms all over the world to be their very best. On my channel, you'll experience vulnerability, transparency, love, laughter, and so much more. I spend most of my days trying to balance my work as an entrepreneur, a wife, but most importantly, a mother. So come along for the ride as we work, grow, and boss like a mom together. Welcome back to my channel, guys. This is part three of Dealing with Anxiety. Um, my dealing with anxiety series. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have watched all the way up to the third video, you are a trooper. Thank you. I'm so excited that you're on here and that you are taking and uh, being a part of this journey with me. Today, I surveyed some of my subscribers just to um to see what type of stuff they want to see from me type of content. And a lot of them spoke about mom hacks and vlogging and um, just life. Um, and so I had already planned to film this series about anxiety because I just really feel like somebody needs to hear this. And so you're going to get all of those things that you told me, the mom hacks, the, the life hacks, the um, the girl talk, you're going to get the, um, the, some people want to see me do hair and makeup. I'm like, uh, listen, I'm nobody's makeup artist or nobody's beautician. I can do a little hair. You know what I'm saying? I do a little hair on the side to make a little extra coin. I do my makeup to my liking, but I'm going to tell you right now, I am not a makeup artist. But for some reason, people want to see me. So I don't know about the makeup, but I might be able to do some hair stuff with y'all. Or get ready with me. That's what some people said they want to see me do. So, hey, we'll see about that. But that's not why you clicked on this video. You clicked on this video to hear about part three of my anxiety series and talking to you about signs to know um, how you have anxiety and how you can seek help. So, um, son. Son, Who? I'm filming. I want to come back. Cody, can you come back in a little bit? Mommy's got to finish. I don't want to come. Okay, what would you like to say? Because um, you're going to have to go in a second. Um, um, everybody, um, well... You can subscribe my mom's videos. Yes. You better promote, Pooh. Yes. I want you to do that. Oh, yes. So while we're at it, go ahead. If you like this content, if you like what I'm saying, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Tell them to do a thumbs up, like, and comment. Tell them to comment down below. Comment down below. And tell me how you like the video. That rhymes. Yeah, but everybody has to watch it. Okay, well, you tell them to watch it. But All everybody right. watch the, her video and subscribe. <laughs> Keep subscribing. Go. Don't come back out now. Close the door. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, sorry, guys. My son is on a, a roll today. But, um, yeah, so... Signs that you know that you're dealing with anxiety. Number one, if you, if your mind is constantly restless and you really feel like you can't even focus on something because it's constantly doing this, um, that's a sign of anxiety. Um, and the reason I say that is because a lot of times when your mind is doing this, you're thinking about Either you're thinking about what ifs or you're forward thinking about something and you haven't just sat in your now. You're thinking about, oh, I got to I got to get to this. And, and what if this doesn't turn out right? Or, um, oh, you know, if I do this, then they're probably going to be thinking this or, um, you know, for my example, for me, um, I just launched 
a virtual summer camp through my business. We were supposed to do a physical one, but due to COVID-19, we decided to launch a virtual summer camp. And in my mind, I'm going, oh, I got to get all this stuff done. But what if the parents don't like the material? What if the kids aren't engaged? Like literally the whole time while I'm actually trying to revamp everything, that just made it 10 times worse for me, y'all. I was literally stressed out because I was thinking of what ifs or how were people going to think of this? It was too much. So if your mind is restless and you're constantly doing all of this, that might be a sign of anxiety. Real quick, if you like the knowledge and the content that I've given so far, go ahead and press the thumbs up because that's going to let me know that you're enjoying it and it's going to let me know that I should keep doing videos like this. Trust me, I need to know. I'm building my niche here, trying to get in a groove on the channel and I definitely need your feedback. And also, don't forget to comment. Let me know what you think about the video. All right, guys, keep watching. Another thing is, um, if you find yourself, the second thing I would say is if you find yourself constantly in this, state of paranoia or this state of, oh my gosh, is this going to happen? Or is that going to, you might be dealing with anxiety. Perfect example. Um, when my children are away from me with people that I trust, it ain't like they away from me with people that I don't really know, or it's still getting to know. I'm talking about when my children are away from me, um, with my mom or my husband and they or um, close friends who they call auntie and uncle. When they're away from me, I'm constantly worried about, are they going to be okay? Um, oh my gosh, what if they go outside with them and they get hit by a car? Or um, what if one of them wanders off and they can't find them? Um, what if when they go with them somewhere, they get in a car accident? That is a form of anxiety. And it is, it is nothing cool about that. It's nothing cool about that. I mean, it's nothing cool about that. Um, it's stressful. It wears on your mind and your mental state to the point where you can't even function. And so that might be a sign if you're dealing with uh, those thoughts like that. That's just an example of, of me. The third sign that you might be dealing with anxiety is if you get easily overstimulated, um, get your mind out together. That ain't not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> but if you get overstimulated, for example, I, I can be in a room and it could be 10,000 things going on, right? It could be the TV's on. The laptop is blinking. The kids are talking and laughing. The tablet is on YouTube and my husband's literally trying to talk to me. And I literally have to stop and say, guys, hold on, babe, cut the TV off, cut the tablet off. I can't handle. I get overly stimulated, even sometimes with just two or three things. I said to me, two or three things. Uh, it could literally just be the boys, my husband, and the TV. But those three things, sometimes I get overstimulated and I have to, one of them has to stop. And the reason why I said that might be a sign is because, once again, it goes back to the first thing. If your mind is already dancing around, how could you possibly balance what's in your mind? How could you possibly balance what's in your mind and... What's going on with your sons or your children, you know, your kids, your husband's talking to you, the TV's going. And some people might be like, oh, that's not a lot. Like, that's what I do all the time. But in moments when you're trying to get a grip, that could be the very thing that causes you to sleep. Trust me when I say, trust me. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Those are some signs that you might be dealing with anxiety. Um, listen, I'm not a counselor. I'm not a certified LPC or a psychiatrist. I'm just telling you based off of my own experience. Um, and 
Um, of course, you can look up some videos and some links that have uh, scientific or um, factual things concerning it. But I'm telling you from my personal experience. OK, I'm not telling you something I read out of a book. I'm telling you something that I deal with on a day to day basis. And sis, I'm going to tell you, anxiety is not a joke. It's not a game. And don't let anybody feel make you feel bad because you deal with it. And I say anxiety, but I'm also talking about stress, too. Because stress can lead to anxiety. And anxiety can lead to stress. <laughs> they, they're best friends. They're best friends. So um, I want to leave you with this. If you find yourself in a dark place concerning anxiety, stress, or depression, or any type of mental illness, please do not go through this alone. Don't go through this alone. Find someone you can talk to. Pray. Journal. God is with you. And gosh darn it, I'm with you. If you're watching this video right now and you're struggling with anxiety, message me. Comment below. Let's link up. Because I want to see our mothers strive. I want to see us strive. I want to see us go after every goal that we desire. And the ones that we've set for ourselves as mothers, as business owners. As just women in general. Okay. Um, and that leaves me with the last thing to tell you guys. There are so many resources out there for anxiety and stress. I'm going to drop a few resources of my own that I personally like below. Um, but there are a couple of ways you can deal with it. Number one. Prayer. Prayer. Um, you may not be a spiritual or, you know, have a religion or believe in anything. Um, and if you don't, um, if you don't believe in God, if you, you know, don't believe um, in prayer, then I respect that. But um I would recommend you doing some type of meditation or, um, you know, uh, just seeking knowledge in a different way. Um, but for me in my house, we gonna pray. <laughs> um, then I would also say, um, journal, write down your thoughts. Sometimes writing down your thoughts help you realize and analyze just how crazy your thought pattern is. The crazy lies that you tell yourself that you're not going to be able to do these things or that you're not good enough. That's crazy. And yes, I used to work crazy because you are going to you're going to accomplish every goal you set. Why? Because you can do it because you have the will to do it. You're great. You're strong. You're beautiful. And you're going to conquer it because you are going to set out to do it. You're not going to be doing it for anybody else but yourself. That's what's important. And then I would also say the most important step is find you someone in your local area. Find a good counseling or a therapist a office, um, a place that you can go. And seek counseling, seek help. Um, look at the reviews. Um, you know, ask around. Believe it or not, some people don't always talk about it, but believe it or not, um, there are people out here who go to therapy and have great resources. Just ask around. Don't be ashamed to talk about it. So, you know, it's it's doable. And you can do this. So I just wanted to take this time. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Um, I put a lot of thought into this because whether this video goes viral or not, I know the audience that I have now needs to hear it. And I wish that I had some type of outlet like this before when I was first dealing with it or had 
somebody who was going to tell me straight up and be honest with me about it. I didn't have that. And so now I want to be that voice for somebody who doesn't have it. So if you like my video, if you like this content, go ahead and put a thumbs up. Um, show me that you're enjoying it. I need the feedback. And make sure you comment, please. Comment, comment, comment. Share, share, share. And let me know what you think about this content. I love you guys. And until next time. Mwah. For tuning into my channel. I'm so grateful for your support and I'm grateful that you've decided to take this mompreneur journey with me. With that being said, if you've made it all the way to the end of the video and you haven't liked or subscribed, what are you doing? <laughs> if you want to like or subscribe to my channel, please click here. And if you want to see my latest video, please click here. Love you guys.